there's two sites, the Dober and the Buck, but I'm just going to talk about the Buck. And um, at the Buck mine site, there's a lot of waste rock that has been buried. There's seeps, and the, uh, nobody is, is exactly sure, but these seeps are being created from at least the Hiawatha mine, which is upstream. Because all of these mines, when they did their shafts and their uh, stopes, they're kind of all intertwined. So all of this wastewater is basically coming down to the buck. Now they put an interim, uh, there was an uh, engineering firm uh, that designed uh, an interim response system to try to treat the water. There's a series of ponds that the water that's being, <laughs> the water coming out of the ground from the buck is coming out at 441 gallons per minute every single day for who knows how many years. So they're trying to treat this water. Basically they have it running through a series of ponds um, and that's um, flowing over limestone. It seems to be doing a fairly decent job according to the uh, water testing data that's being supplied to the DEQ.